OpenAI just made projects available in ChatGPT+. In this video, we're going to check it out and see how useful it really is. So if we come to the very top, you can see new projects. And what we'll do is we'll just create a couple of projects to get started. So the first one we'll do is fly video for the video asset management tool that I've created. And then the next one, if we go and click on this add button, we'll just type in Appy Dave. And we'll put that, we might just say videos actually, because this is where I'm going to put the videos. And while we're thinking of that, we'll add in one more, which would be the Appy Dave tools. Now, what I'll do here is I might put a dash between it so that I can see it visually. Now, one of the things that happens if you do this is you might go, I want to rename this. So if you come and click on here, you won't have the ability to rename it. So if you go and click on it directly, it'll come up here and you can rename it here. So I'm going to just put in a dash right there and we'll press save. And now we've got three projects ready to go within ChatGPT. Now, if we look through the left here, I've got four different chats that I know are obvious that I need to put into videos. And that's because I code my videos in a sequential order and I put a bit of a label after it. So what I'm going to do is just go through and click on all of them and you see them start getting added. Now, if I do a refresh, they actually disappear from this list and they should be available here. Now I'm going to take a quick opportunity to rename these as I go because while codes, I can find my videos, it'd be easier if I could see visually what this video is about. So recently I was using a pair programming tool called Ada, which allowed me to automate documentations and presentations. So now this is all listed under my Appy Day videos. Now what I'll do next is I'll click on fly video and this application that I'm building has a logo which is green so what I might do is just change the folder color as we're going and at the moment we can drag them up here like we've seen but as I go further down we won't be able to see this project so the other thing that you can do is click on the little options here and we can move it to fly video and I know that the DAM code, which stands for Digital Asset Management, is also part of Fly Video. So as I click through to them, they're just adding here on the right. Now one capability I'm really looking forward to is this new one called Add Instructions. But we should just revisit custom instructions so that you understand what they're used for. So I have some custom instructions. They're quite simple. Basically, I want to limit how big the response is from ChatGPT by saying, say yay if you understand. And then it just replies with yay. Or if I just want it to read the information and absorb it, I say read. And if I want it to create an image, I just say create image followed by the prompt and it creates the image. And so these are simple general purpose instructions that I use for all my chats. But what if you need project level instructions? Well, that's what we can do when we look at the add instructions. So let's have a look at the custom instructions for Appy Day videos. And before we do, we'll change the color to brown, which is my brand color. And from there, we'll just go and quickly look at the Appy Day channel. Now here, I've got this more and I've got all this information about who I am. So this is branding information. But the way I usually put this into my videos, into my YouTube descriptions, is I use the Agent Workflow Builder. And we will create a project for that in a second. And one of the things I do is I automate all of my launch of a video using ChatGPT. And one of those areas is down where I write the description and there's probably information for the brand. And generally I'm just pasting a whole lot of branding information here. But it'd be nicer if this was automatically going into my chats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to add instructions and I'm gonna say, this is information about my brand and I'll just paste in what I currently would paste into my custom GPTs. Now I have all this information that I would put into marketing and YouTube descriptions but it's a little bit too verbose for an instruction. So what I might just say is about me and then I'll just paste this information in. We've got my name's David, Appy Dave, a list of my channels, opt-ins, stuff like that and a list of my skills. 
So I spent about 20 minutes just doing a little bit of grouping and let's just go through some of them to see the things that I'm thinking through as I start grouping projects. So the first one is 5557 websites. So essentially this is a manifesto that I built with ChatGPT about 18 months ago around the idea of building 550 videos over 55 weeks on five channels. It's not something I've done, but it is a goal. And there are actually seven brands that I've been building all around this concept. So I want to keep this global overview of what I do all in one location. So next we can look at the two major applications that I'm building. One is Fly Video, which is about achieving that goal. It's around the automation of myself and tools like that. And then Agent Workflow Builder, which is another way that I automate everything by having GPT workflows that solve different challenges, especially in the YouTube automation, but anywhere in business. Next, I'm documenting in a podcast some due diligence around setting up a cafe in Thailand, and that's called Cozy Cafe. Then I thought I'd do an image creation project because I have lots of images that I tend to do on a video by video basis, but then I can never find the images that I specifically want. So in this particular case, I was helping a friend get a logo together and we were just playing around with ChatGPT and DALI 3 to generate the images. So I'll probably end up having one project purely for the image ideation. Now there's only a limited view of the projects here, but you can click on the see more. So if we go to a company that I work with where all the software architecture guidelines and best practices are being dealt with, if we go down to Appy Day videos, this is where I'll keep all the scripts and my analysis of the scripts. And I do all of this with Agent Workflow Builder and the videos you can see are all listed here. I then have a open source project that I'm putting together called Clueless. And this is where a custom tag seemed to make sense. So firstly, the taglines, the Clueless to do, or even you can code even if you're Clueless. This is a programming language that I'm putting together for interacting with large language models. Now I mentioned Fly Video as a YouTube automation tool. Well, where that's being used is AITLDR and AITLDR is a channel that I put together. It's got about 80 videos over the last six months. It's grow growing quite well. And what I'm really going to need is to keep track of a lot of the files. And you can currently see that there's a bunch of videos over here and they are mapping to the files that are over on this system. So recently when we did the Sora video, which is just here, we got the basic metadata and the script and all that being put together. And so what I can do with this is come over and click on the add files. And I think the two that we want is the readme file and the affiliate file. This is where a list of information is. And I should just be able to drag them in and they've been added. Where this will end up being really useful for me is that there was a video done recently called Compose Quickly, and one of the things going on in it is an affiliate code. Now this is just an incredible SEO friendly blogging tool, but if I want that information, I can go over to my conversation in ChatGPT, and there's an affiliate file, and that'll be listed there. So it'll be really easy to pull that information into chats that I'm doing in the future. Anyway, I'm Happy Dave. That was a quick look at the ChatGPT projects and how I plan to use them. I usually do videos on prompt engineering, coding with AI and agentic frameworks. So if this is something that you're interested, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.